Good morning to everybody. It's just a real-time update. Today is the 1st of April. This is an April Fool's joke. But tomorrow we are going to hopefully be closing on the boat and moving on board. Talk to the broker and the closing agent and everything and we're set for around 9 o'clock tomorrow to meet with the owner currently. Hopefully to be former owner and the current owners. and. Uh, to meet them at 9.30 tomorrow, 9, 9.30, 10 o'clock, somewhere in that time frame. We're on the west coast, Tampa area, and we got to drive all the way over to the east coast, which is Fort Lauderdale where the boat's at. So we rented a truck and we're going to be uh, heading over there tomorrow, bright and early in the morning, loaded with all of our worldly possessions to move on the boat. So what have we been up to in the meantime? Well, we went to Sanwa, a bulk food grocery store, to do some provisioning for the boat and also did a runs to Wally World and a couple other grocery stores to buy goods for the boat. So we're all set up for the, uh, dry, the dry provisioning storage. So that's all taken care of. And then um, we went to a uh, Bass Pro Shop here locally and we were disappointed. Um, we thought we were gonna be able to talk to some experts, you know, to get, you know, what kind of fishing gear we're gonna need for the boat. They knew nothing about deep sea saltwater fishing. In fact, the guy there said that he uh, was a poor fisherman, hadn't caught anything. So, for that's what it's worth. However, when we were looking at buying scuba gear, we did go to a the scuba shop down in uh, Sarasota and if you want check out the link where I talk about the scuba gear and what we got and the scuba shop there which is scuba quest go see them if you're in the Tampa Sarasota area and you need scuba gear the right next door to that scuba shop was a fishing store which was aptly called all about fishing and the I want to say owner, proprietor, he could be uh, just a manager, but he struck me as being the owner because he mentioned his son comes in and helps him occasionally to unload fresh bait. Well, we talked to him when we got the scuba gear and he was kind of uh, helpful in that aspect of what to go for. So we went back with our old junkie fishing poles and we, we showed him what we had and he said that uh, they'll work, but they're not really designed for what we want to accomplish. So he pointed us in the right direction and for, I want to say around $450, uh, and this is on the low, the, the cheaper end of the scale, you know, you get some up a couple thousand dollars for fishing gear. Fishing gear is blooming expensive. Have you ever noticed that? And I, I'm just, I'm just shocked. So anyway, um, we got two rod and reel combos. Uh, the pen, uh, I forget the model of it, is the, the reel, and then the rod is another word that I can't pronounce, so I'm not even gonna try and slaughter it. Um, Carrie did the research on them. She said that they are good quality, so we're gonna go with that. Uh, so we picked up those at All About Fishing, which is another good store. If you are in the market for fishing gear or live bait or anything, stop by and see them. They're super friendly and they've got everything you'll ever need. So it's a small little store, uh, but they've got everything crammed in there somehow. So then it was over to today, which is picking up the truck, and then we're gonna load it up with all of our belongings, and then tomorrow's closing. So that about catches you up as to where we are right now. Um, I hope we're um, Terry is at Walmart right now getting some food for dinner tonight and also for uh, the next few days while we move on to the boat. But I am here alone with, of course, Tony, the plant, and we are, the reason why I'm home here alone is because we're expecting a delivery from the good people at Max Air. They are sending us the gasoline, I think it's a Max Air 35 scuba, gasoline scuba uh, compressor. So that, that will be able to fill our scuba tanks while we are on the boat. 
Now, I'm going to be doing a review on that as soon as it comes here. Well, it'll actually probably be a little bit delayed because it's got to be delivered here, and then I probably won't have a chance to unbox it or read the manual. We're going to load it in the truck right away, and then going to be heading over to the boat. And then as soon as we get it set up on the boat, I get a chance to read through the manual. I know I'm losing my man card by reading a manual, but this is a very expensive piece of equipment. So I want to make sure that we take good care of it and use it properly. So that's why I'm here alone. However, I just checked the FedEx tracking number. The compressor is here in Tampa, but there was a, and I do not know what this means because they're very cryptic. It said, uh, in transit, emergency delay. I think it was emergency delay, yeah. What that means, I don't know. It's still giving a delivery day of by the end of business today. So that's all I have for right now. Hopefully the next time we do a video, you will be seeing us on our boat. Till then, thanks for watching.